Welcome to Chapter 11 of the Tally Learning Hub. In this session, we will learn about the Daybook and how you can use it to manage your day-to-day -day transactions. By listing all the transactions made in a day, the Daybook helps you to stay on top of your financial activities. To view your Daybook from the Gateway of Tally, press D for Display and again press D for Daybook. Here, you can see all the transactions recorded on the current date. To view transactions of another date, say the 15th of March, click F2, enter the date and there you go. If you wish to view all the transactions made for a certain period, let's say from the 1st of February to the 31st of March, click Alt F2 and mention the date range as 1st February to the 31st of March. Now. Let's say that you want to view only the payment transactions in the daybook. Press F4 to change the voucher and select payment. And this way you can easily filter the transactions of a particular nature. Press Alt F1 for a detailed view of transactions listed in the daybook. If you would like to see these transactions with even more details, let's say you want to see the check number, press F12. Set show bank details also as yes and now you will be able to see the bank details for all the bank related transactions. To close the detailed view, press Alt F1. Next, we are going to learn about the options which will be handy for recording and managing day-to-day -day transactions. The options which we are going to discuss are the ones which are available in the buttons right below the daybook. Using the duplicate option, you can easily duplicate the transactions. This will be helpful to account the recurring transactions like the rent expenses in which all the details except the date remains the same. To duplicate the voucher, bring the cursor to the voucher you want to duplicate. Here, I want to duplicate the payment transactions recorded for rent. Press Alt 2. Change the date to the 31st of March. and save the voucher. The next option we will learn about are the add voucher and the insert voucher options. It's natural that sometimes we miss recording our transaction and discover it later. You can easily handle it using the add or insert option. This not only helps you to account but also to manage the transaction sequence and numbering. The add voucher option will add a voucher right below the one you have selected and the insert voucher option will add a voucher above the selected voucher. Here, I am pressing Alt A to add a voucher. Mention the details and save the voucher. Now you can see that the new voucher is added with the voucher number 62 right below the voucher we had selected. Using the cancel button, you can cancel the details of the voucher while the voucher still stays to keep the voucher numbering intact. To do that, you can press Alt X from the voucher you wish to cancel and press Y. In any case, if you choose to remove the complete transaction, you can delete it by pressing Alt D. There are many such options available in the button bar at the bottom and at the right hand side of the screen for you to easily manage your day-to-day -day business transactions. So, keep exploring. So here's a quick recap of what we learned. Viewing all the transactions made for a certain period using Alt F2 for changing the period. Viewing transactions belonging to a voucher type by using F4, that is to change the voucher. Viewing the daybook in detail with additional information using F12 configurations and duplicating, adding, inserting, cancelling or deleting vouchers from the daybook.